Valentine's Day is almost here, and if you're still looking to maybe cook up something sweet, why not whip up some decadent brownies for your special someone? Chef Elwin from Elwin and Company is here again making tuxedo brownies tuxedo this brownies. time. All right, sounds good. All right, so okay. let's get to cooking. All right, we're going to start by making our decadent brownies. All right, decadent because there is a lot of butter. All kinds <laughs> right of butter here. and sugar, the right. best stuff. <laughs> right. So okay. we've melted our butter, and okay. we're going to add whole eggs. All right, should I put these in or you want sure. me to add well, anything can, to this? Why don't you add the coffee okay. and the vanilla? All of this? Yeah, maybe do half. Okay. And, and you, you can eliminate it. You can use extra espresso and make it like um, uh, espresso brownies. People put in a little bit of cayenne pepper. You could do, put in a little bit of that in too to really? give it the sweet hot that's popular now. So that okay. doesn't hurt. So we all can right. dump that in. Okay. And I'm going to mix, dump it all, get that melted, yeah, see in the melted butter. There you go. All righty. And blend it just not all the way, most of the way, okay. three quarters of the way. Then now we can add the sugar. Oh. There, see, all, all good. All of this see, sugar? dump it all, dump it all in. <laughs> and look at all. Pour it in, pour it in. Okay. You created Perfect. a sugar dust cloud. There you go. Now you can do, add in uh, white chocolate chips, nuts, okay. dark chocolate chips. Uh, Cashews, pecans, anything that you want to blend in. It'll give it a real nice flavor. And then it'll give it some color too. Yeah, exactly. And then some going walnuts if you want. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like exactly. Okay. Now, now the, the, the little cocoa and the flour. All right. And we're done. All of this? All of it. Dump All it in. It. Okay, how much uh, will, this, will this make? This will make bad. a dozen brownies this size. Okay, okay. And that goes in just like that. We're going to give it a good mix. And it'll be a little tight, and that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. A little bit. It's like mousse almost. Oh, wow. And they are really back. rich. They're very, very, very rich. Wonderful. And these are brownies that, of course, we're teaching them oh. how to make them, but you could just get oh, them at, uh, at your place as well. You can, and you can buy them by the dozen. We have tons of them. You can buy them in bags. We have cookies made up for a Valentine's week. We have a lot of really nice stuff. Okay. Cookies and soups and brownies and scones, of course. Raspberry white chocolate scones. This is when we started raspberry making raspberry white scones. was was on Valentine's Day nice. years ago. So that's like a paste like that. Okay. We're going to pour it in to a baking pan. And you see the color yes. of the uh, white chocolate? I know you're going to... Yep, just having it kind of peek out there, right? Exactly. And that's exactly what you want. And then we smear it with a spatula. Okay. And it's like a, literally like a paste. All right. And so, how long does does this bake for? This bakes for about forty five minutes at three and a quarter. Okay. All right. So Just once like this that. is done, you've got even more. Oh chocolate. God, there's you more chocolate. You're gonna top the chocolate yeah. brownies with more chocolate. All right. What of do you course. Have? So now we take the uh, strawberries and we dip them once in the chocolate, the mm -hmm. dark chocolate ganache, and then once in the white chocolate ganache. Well, see, it doesn't stick. But we'll <laughs> use this because I have some backup. Look at you. He's always right I know. There. See, you've got to, you don't have to know what to do. Drizzle it like that. Uh -huh. You just have a different effect. Yeah. Okay, and that goes on top of another brownie. And you have something like this. Just like that. And then, you know, to make it even more decadent and more Valentine's Day ish, uh, creme anglaise. Just across the top. So this can be a nice dessert for one mm -hmm. piece, or you can make an elegant dinner for two. And make a nice dessert out of it. It's so really either way, great. I think it works really nice. And you can top it with whatever kind of you've got the other chocolate on top as well. I mean, you have a, oh, that's a, a layer ganache. of chocolate ganache Absolutely. over there. Absolutely. So you just layers. set it up with a with a double boiler here, and yes. just how'd you do that? A double boiler, just simmering in hot water. Okay. This sits just on top, just until it's nicely melted. So when this is baked, mm -hmm. this pours on top of that, and then it was a, you had a nice idea. We can take the white chocolate. Drizzle it on top and put it, run a knife through it, and you have those real nice, elegant lines. If you want to be really creative about it, you can pipe the initial of your sweetheart <laughs> on top of the brownie. It's a really a kind of a cool thing to do, or your you know your initials. It kind right, of makes it nice. Very good. Okay, before you go, you have to tell us where you guys are located. Oh, we are on the west side of Coolidge, just south of Twelve Mile, where you can come in for coffee. You can bring, uh, you can buy soup. You can bring lunches home, dinners, your favorite mac and cheese, oh, tuna so casserole. <laughs> you really don't. You can get your whole Valentine's Day dinner from us. All right, really nice. sounds good. It's always a pleasure to have you Thank here. You. We're gonna have all the recipe on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on Seven Section. Can I eat a brownie now? There he is. Okay. <laughs>